At the start of the movie, we are introduced to a lake known as Lake Bodum, where two girls were bathing and having a lot of fun. At the bank of the lake, we see a poor boy who was teasing his lover. He brutally kills the two girls. After this, the story goes on for a few years. We see two friends, one of whom was named Elias. Elias's friend tells that he has a habit of going to crime scenes, that is, places where accidents have happened. Along with that, he has a lot of interest in knowing about drowning and such things. Showing the pictures of the girls at the beginning, he tells that a few years ago, these two girls were arrested by the lake called Lake Bodum. So let's go there to investigate about this. Because Mira believes that the killer must still be there near the lake. And we will find out why he killed the girls. Now, because Elias was his friend and could not refuse him, he agrees to go. After this, we are shown the story of some time ago. A girl named Ida is sitting with her family and eating food. All these people were looking sad. Then suddenly Ida's dad gets angry at her. Because some time ago, someone had posted Ida's unhappy picture on the internet and spread it. Because of which her dad was worried. Because his family was being defamed a lot. Then the story comes back to the present time. Her friend comes to meet Ida. And tells her to forget the past and start a new life. Anyway, I am also going to Lake Bodum with them. So let's go with us. It will be fun and your mood will also be good. So on this, Ida agrees. Outside Ida's house, Elias and his friend are seen in the car. Who had come to pick them up and were waiting. And these four leave for Lake Bodum. Yes, they reach. But the way to go from there was closed with a chain. Actually, after the murder of those girls, the police had stopped people from coming to this lake. But Elias says to break the chain. After breaking it, they come out. They had arrived at the lake and began the process of setting up a tent there. In the middle of the night, Ida and Elias's friend were sitting and talking to you. Where he was telling Ida about the murder of the two girls who had happened here. On which she says that yes, I had also heard about this case. Then their two friends also come there. Here Elias's friend tells them that I have done some research about that murderer. From which I believe that that murderer loves this place a lot by considering it his home. Just like we do not like a stranger in our homes. Similarly, that murderer also does not like the people who come here. Looks bad. That's why he keeps an eye on the people who come here first. Then as soon as he sees the opportunity, he kills them. That too with a lot of mercy. So that no one makes the mistake of coming here again. And if he is living here, then surely he must be keeping an eye on us too. She starts going to sleep in the tent. But then Ida's eyes go to the other side of the lake where the torchlight was shining. And its direction was towards them. She starts doubting, so she tells about it. But Elias's friend says that do not worry, there is no one there. And by the way, I did not think that someone else would have come here other than us. So do not worry, let's go to sleep. And he goes to sleep, but Ida does not go. In fact, she goes to the lake to take a bath. She still feels as if someone is keeping an eye on her. As soon as she turns around and looks, there was Elias who was watching her bathe. Ida does not like his behavior. So she comes to the tent by saying bad things about him. Then at midnight when these four were sleeping, Ida realizes that someone is there again. So she tells this to her friend and Elias. Then Elias goes out to check. But even after a long time, when he does not come back, all three of them start getting worried. They also call him, but no answer comes from the front. A lot of time had passed, he has not returned yet. But then suddenly Elias comes and scares them. Anyway, Ida's friend had to go to the washroom, so she goes alone from there. Behind her, Elias also goes so that he can protect her. After her departure, when Ida and Elias's friend were talking, then suddenly a big log falls on their tent, which scares her a lot. Then he explains to Ida that do not worry, this is definitely Elias's prank. He is trying to scare us by dropping the log. Saying this, he also goes out to check, but there is no one there. So he comes back into the tent and tells Ida that Elias has definitely not done this. And when he comes back to the tent, I will teach him a lesson. Then we see a stranger outside the tent, who attacks him with a knife and runs away from there. When Ida sees blood coming out of her mouth, she gets very scared. She comes out of the tent and calls out to her friend for help. When the two of them hear Ida's voice, they immediately come near the tent. Seeing the condition, they get very scared, because he was very wounded and covered in blood. They do not understand anything that who must have done this and what should we do now. The three of them go out of the jungle to save his life. When Ida's friend falls, her stomach was very wounded. Now she could not move forward, so she tells them to move forward. When they do this, they leave her there and move forward to ask for help. 
On the way, Elias tells her that I have been wanting to talk to you alone for a long time. The one who was defaming you, the one with the viral pictures. I did a survey about him, from which I came to know that when I was conscious, no one made your pictures. Just to insult you, to defame you, I made such rumors. If you do not believe me, then why did your pictures never reach you? And I never had it either. Not only that, but the police also did not get any such picture of you. Because there is no such picture. Elias was telling all these things that when a man wearing a mask comes from behind and attacks him with a knife, he also dies. Then as soon as the man removes the mask, we see that there was no one else but Ida's friend who killed Elias. Now here we come to know that Ida thought that Elias was the one who had made her pictures viral. Because of the defamation, she had to face a lot of difficulties. Along with that, her dad also took his life. That's why Ida decided that she would definitely take her revenge on Elias. That's why when her friend came and told her that Elias and I were going to Lake Bottom with her friend, then Ida made a plan to kill Elias with her friend. Which meant that both of them had come here for this purpose. So that they could take revenge on Elias and finish him. But she was thinking that we killed Elias, but who killed his friend? But here Ida's friend tells her that now we have to dispose of both of their corpses. And before dawn, she will have to leave here and reach home so that we do not face the accusation of their murder. So that's why she takes off her bag and wears a suit. So that when they dispose of the corpses, their fingerprints do not remain on their corpses. Then she puts these two corpses in the bag, throws them in the lake and comes in her car. Ida's friend tells her that the car keys were with Elias when she went to Lake Bottom with his corpse. And now that they had no other way to get out of here, she decides to go to Lake Bottom and get the keys. Then Ida's friend takes off her suit and goes into the water. Finally, she gets the keys. And now they both get out of here by sitting in the car. On the way, Ida keeps thinking about the things told by Elias. And she also tells this to her friend. Then her friend says that no, he must be lying. I had seen your picture. After hearing this, Ida still has doubts. Then she says that if you had seen it, then why didn't I, Elias and Ulysses get those pictures? Now on this question of Ida, her friend finally gets ready to tell the truth. She says that yes, Elias told you the truth. No one had made your picture. But I had spread rumors about it everywhere. After hearing this, Ida is surprised. And she was also very broken. Because her own friend had told her. So that's why she asks him. Why did you do this? I was your friend. On which her friend tells the reason. That you were getting very close to Elias in school. And whenever you used to meet me, you used to talk about Elias all the time. Which made me feel that if this continues, then your friendship will be with Elias. And if you both become friends, then you will go away from me. So that's why I made a plan to get you away from Elias. When you came to the party, I mixed medicine in your juice. Which made you unconscious. After putting you in a room, I came out and spread that picture rumor. But Ida, I never thought that doing this would make your life so difficult. After knowing everything, Ida starts crying and tells her friend that three innocent people lost their lives because of you. Elias, her friend and my dad. Now I am not going to sit quietly. I will return home and report all of this to the police. Along with that, I will not hide anything about their blood. I will tell the truth. After hearing this, her friend refuses to do this. And Ida does not listen to her. That's why her friend in anger picks up the wrench in the car and hits Ida on the face. Due to which her blood starts coming out. Turning back, Ida also hits him and both of them start fighting in the car. In the meantime, Ida's friend sees a car standing in the middle of the road. Now that there is no accident, she stops the car on the side. But the car stops so hard that a small accident happens, due to which Ida was also unconscious. Along with the car, a man is also standing on the road, who is now slowly moving towards their car. This man is no one else but the one who killed Elias's friend. And now seeing him coming towards her, her friend is very scared and tries to make Ida happy. Meanwhile, the killer had come to the car. When he sees them both inside the car on the torch, he ties their car to his car with a chain. To tow it, pull it and take it with you. Sitting in his car, driving the car at a very high speed, he starts taking his car from there. By now, Ida had also come to her senses. Both are very scared, and how to get out of this problem, they start thinking about it. When her friend says that you jump from the back door of the car, later I will do the same. And now as soon as Ida was about to jump from the back, suddenly their car crashes and turns. Now they had had a very bad accident, because of which both the girls are very injured. The car of the killer had also stopped. That's why he starts coming towards them again. By now, Ida had also come to her senses. 
She also tells her friend to come to his senses and cough. But her friend Ida leaves her alone here and refuses to go. On which Ida explains to him that I am very injured. I can't come with you. Please go, run away from here. Now after hearing this, she finally agrees. She starts running towards the temple. The killer had also seen her. So he puts his dog behind him. Here we are shown the face of this killer, who is no one else but the same man, who we had also seen in the beginning, who had also killed both the girls. Actually, the rumors that Ilyas's friend had heard about this jungle and this killer, were all true. This killer had been keeping an eye on the four of them for a long time, to make them his prey. In the next scene, we see the killer, who was sitting on the bank of the lake. He had also tied Ida and her friend to him. He had thrown their car into the lake and kept them here as prisoners. He had tied his hands and feet and covered his face with a cloth. And he was sharpening his knife. Now he starts moving towards them. First of all, he catches Ida and throws her in the underground place, where there were a lot of corpses lying around. After that, he tortures and kills his friend. And he comes to Ida and doesn't even touch her body. The next morning, we are shown that the killer did not kill Ida. In fact, he had left her outside her house. Actually, the killer did this so that Ida would be blamed for all the murders. Because he had a reason to kill his friends. All three of his friends' corpses are recovered. And Ida is arrested for murdering them. However, she tries to explain to everyone that I did not do all this. In fact, the killer of Lake Woodup did it. But no one believes her. And the innocent is blamed. Whereas, the real killer was saved in this way. And he was still free. After this, we see some friends near the lake, who had come to party. Like always, the killer was keeping an eye on everyone. And now this group is the next target of the killer. And it is surprising that this was a true story. And with this, the film ends here.